Well, hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about vitamin D and hair loss. I know a lot of you guys cope with hair loss, thinning hair, it's very distressing. And you may not be aware of the fact that there is a connection between vitamin D deficiency and hair loss. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Andrea. I am a board certified dermatologist. I would love it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the thumbs up. It really helps my videos out a lot. Vitamin D deficiency gets a lot of publicity. We know that people nowadays seem to be low in vitamin D and it's associated with poor immune function, bone health, and mood problems. When people are struggling with hair loss, one of the first things they wanna know is, is there something in my diet that's causing this or is there a supplement that I should be taking? that can rectify this. And as a dermatologist, we start looking for causes of the hair loss before we advise on whether or not any type of supplement or dietary modification is gonna be necessary. Now, when it comes to hair loss and, and healthy hair, you kinda of have to think of it as a garden and the scalp health is like the soil. You wanna make sure that the soil is rich in vitamins, minerals, and a big part of ensuring healthy hair growth is cleansing the scalp regularly to remove sebum buildup that can contribute to inflammation and subsequent hair loss. For me personally, I shampoo my hair every day and I am a fan, as you guys know, of Function of Beauty Hair Care. And I'm so excited to be partnering with them again on today's video. Function of Beauty is fully customizable hair care products that you can get delivered right to your door. I have been using their shampoo and conditioner for over a year now, and I've really seen tremendous benefit in the health of my hair. It's a lot bouncier, a lot more manageable, a lot shinier. And I love the fact that it is completely customizable. All you have to do is go in and take a quick quiz outlining your hair type and specific hair goals. You can choose up to five, and then you can get shampoo and conditioner that is completely customized to meet your specific hair care needs. Hair care needs change with age, environment, you know, maybe at a certain time in your life you're dealing with a hair problem like thinning, split ends, and so you kind of need to change up your hair care products to address those particular issues. Having fully customizable hair care products really allows you to do that. You also get to customize the color of your shampoo and conditioner. I choose no color added because uh, I like to stay dye free as much as possible. And you can choose the scent. I go with fragrance free because as you guys know, I like to I like to minimize my exposure to fragrance, but they have a variety of scents that you can choose from and strengths of the scents. And then what I love the most about Function of Beauty, it's just a little fun extra touch, is that the products come with your name on them. See, it says Function of Dre here on the shampoo. Function of Beauty is vegan and cruelty-free. You can also throw in add-ons like their deep conditioning hair mask or their hair serum, both are really good. But if you've been on the fence about trying Function of Beauty, now is the time because if you click the link in my description box, you can get 20% off your first Function of Beauty order. So thank you Function of Beauty for sponsoring today's video. But getting back to this role of vitamin D and healthy hair growth, again, think of the scalp as like the soil and you need good nutrients in that soil to facilitate healthy hair growth. Now the skin cells, the keratinocytes, they actually metabolize vitamin D and they these are the cells that are responsible for making keratin. That is that protein that constitutes our skin, our hair, and our nails. It's really important to strong hair and healthy healthy hair and healthy nails and healthy skin. When vitamin D is low, then the keratinocytes in the hair follicle, they slow down in terms of making uh, strong, healthy hair, and you can get an increase in hair shedding. This is known as a telogen effluvium. And so when you go to a dermatologist presenting with a complaint of hair loss, one thing that's gonna be checked is your vitamin D levels, and there is some evidence that these are associated. But overall, how common is it that vitamin D deficiency is the cause of hair loss? There are so many types of hair loss out there that it isn't always the case. And I'm pointing this out because I don't want you guys to just start taking a vitamin D supplement uh, in an effort to um, improve your hair or improve your hair growth. It's important to understand though that low vitamin D, it's not the only cause of hair loss. So it's really, really important that you see a board certified dermatologist 
for evaluation of your hair loss and for a complete workup to figure out what the cause is. As part of that, that includes blood work, checking for vitamin D, but we're also gonna check other things like your iron levels. Low iron too can contribute to hair loss, so we check something called a ferritin. And we'll also check uh, your blood levels with a complete blood count, make sure that there isn't some un underlying medical cause. Also thyroid hormone uh, would be another thing that we would check. And in many cases, depending on the physical exam, meaning after we examine your scalp, and, and take a look at your hair. Um, in, in many cases, we also might perform a scalp biopsy, and that is a really, really valuable tool in getting a correct diagnosis. You know, on social media, I get a lot of questions. What can I recommend for hair loss? What can I recommend for hair growth? And you guys, the diagnosis is what I recommend. You have got to get a diagnosis before you can ever begin to address your address your hair loss needs because there are so many different types of hair loss and you are doing yourself a disservice by not having that diagnosis because how do you really know how how to navigate it beyond just scalp cleansing and scalp hygiene uh, there are specific treatments for these different types of hair loss one of the more common types of hair loss that is associated now with the low vitamin D situation is something called telogen effluvium. That is basically hair shedding. It can happen though after any type of stressful event. Um, and really what it is is that your body sees a stressful event and it's like, this is not the time to prioritize growing strong, healthy hair. And that may be because you are low in vitamin D leading to more shedding or low in some other vitamin or mineral. Maybe you have gone through a very stressful life event, strong emotional stress can trigger this, um, or maybe you had surgery, that is a stressful event. Or maybe you took a new medication that just kind of shifted the hair cycle around a, a bit and put, put more of your hair in the shedding phase. Um, or you had a baby. That is a very common reason. And so this type of hair loss, telogen effluvium, it typically presents you know, roughly six weeks to six months following the stressful event as an increase in shedding hairs. It doesn't lead to baldness, but what can happen is that it can un uncover another type of hair loss that is common in women, androgenetic alopecia, or female pattern hair loss. Basically the hair follicles start becoming, are more sensitive to the male hormones. They miniaturize and that first presents as a widening of the part uh, and maybe a lot thinning of the hair around the temples. And if you undergo a telogen effluvium, that's gonna be something that's much more obvious to you as those hairs are shedding. And all of a sudden you're gonna be like, wow, not only am I losing all this hair, but my hair is really thin and I'm seeing the patches where I can see my scalp. Um, that often can happen. Vitamin D, low vitamin D may be the cause or it may not. It may be one of these other things. That's why the diagnosis is so important. Beyond taking care of the health of your scalp, make sure that you have a healthy diet that is balanced and includes uh, fruits, vegetables, uh, vitamins and minerals should you know, mostly be obtained from your diet. Or, you know, it can all be obtained from your diet. You don't necessarily need a special supplement. Although of course, you know, many people take a multivitamin, myself included, to bridge gaps in day-to-day -day, uh, eating. For example, you know, if you're stressed out and busy, sometimes that derails your eating plans. So many people take a multivitamin to kind of bridge those gaps. But overall, you can get everything that you need from food. Um, and including vitamin D can get be obtained from food sources. A well-balanced diet that supports healthy hair growth has protein in it too. Keratin is really what makes up your hair and nails and skin. And so if you're protein, you know, getting good quality proteins in the diet, it can be plant-based, you don't have to be animal-based, um, to provide those amino acid building blocks for strong, healthy hair. Uh, and you wanna make sure that your diet is got, you know, fruits and vegetables. Those not only contain tons of vitamins and minerals that nourish that scalp soil, but they also have a lot of antioxidants that can fight off some of the inflammation uh, and oxidative stress. Inflammation and oxidative stress can impact the hair cycle in the, in the scalp. That's part of why you need to cleanse the scalp to remove dirt, oil, sebum, 
pollutants, gunk that creates irritation and can contribute to oxidative stress and affect the hair cycle. But the other thing is, is delivering some anti-inflammatories through the foods that you eat, fruits and vegetables, uh, legumes, nuts, seeds. These are all good sources of those. Eating a balanced diet and consistently washing your hair as frequently as your hair type tolerates, those are things that you can do to ensure strong, healthy hair growth um, and you know keep your scalp healthy to really ensure that inflammation is to a minimum. But if you do develop hair loss and you see your dermatologist and you find out that your vitamin D is low, what is the treatment? Typically, it is supplemental vitamin D at 1,000 international units daily for 12 weeks. So it's not that you need to necessarily supplement for the rest of your life. Um, and that can help. It's a very slow process for return to baseline, but with time, barring there are no other external stressors that go on and further you know, shift your hair cycle around, then you can get restoration of your hair. Uh, density and hair, you know, normal hair, your return to normal hair growth. But if you have an underlying um, female pattern hair loss that was made more obvious by the telogen effluvium, this is not going to stop that. Uh, that is a process that happens, again, in relation to hormones in the body, namely the testosterone that we all have. So in summary, vitamin D is really important for healthy hair, skin, and nails. Uh, it can be obtained from the diet and if necessary from supplements in the setting of vitamin D uh, insufficiency or deficiency. Um, always see your healthcare provider though uh, for diagnosis. Don't just you know, start taking supplements marketed for hair loss without getting that diagnosis first because you could be just taking supplements um, unnecessarily and not helping your cause and losing time uh, for appropriate treatment that will correct things. Um, don't forget you guys, check out Function of Beauty if you are in the market for some good quality hair care products that you can customize for whatever hair care need that you may have at the moment. I, you know, I love them. I love the way my hair looks uh, since using them and I strongly recommend them. Check out the link in my description box. You can get 20% off your first function of beauty order. But I hope this video was helpful to you guys in you know, explaining the role of vitamin D in hair and hair loss. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.